that back, Jim, right. a couple of weeks later, he came to the Adidas All American camp and absolutely showed out. What a rebound by Sims, just as you were speaking. Over on NBA TV. At 9 o'clock in, though, Chet and Paula Bancel. Yes. Yes. I'll be home by then. I'll be on to playing the championship game back to back years. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it. And there's the first, really. Look where applying a lot of pressure. Look, Look how far. Yeah, that's it. You were yeah. making the same thing right there, Potter. Trail with nowhere to go. And one on the slam, Montero. I mean, Jamar DeRozan had a monster, monster uh, season last year. They were, they were, I think they were 27 and 14, and then all of a sudden they had all those injuries. Right. And, you know, you just can't lose winning good players that you're counting on. It, it, it impacts everyone. Juan Jeffries fouled going to the basket. Deep backcourt. That have gotten that's gotten a lot of a lot of those young guys have got a lot of experience. Sure, sure. Potter missing that jump shot. Under 40 seconds to go. The three ball on the way by the rookie. And there it is again, Seth. We've talked about it. Dalen Terry gonna have to rip it. Better. Even better. When you think about the league right now with the Lakers in flux. With the mix in the flux. And obviously the Bulls just need to be he's, he's young, he's young, and, and he'll get better. But, you know, I think when, when a guy really competes and works and gets in the gym, there's always a level of improvement that they're going to make just based on the mentality that he has. So, you know, obviously he's got to continue to get better. The one thing I think is underrated besides his most what he's going to do and when he's going to do it. Not, he's got a lot of tools in his bag. He's got to figure out when to use which tools. Seth, I love what Paulo said about uh, Lobby. His mom stops me. Oh, and we had a great conversation. And the first thing she said about it, you know, she's congratulating yeah. you, Joyce. And you're the hardest worker. That bodes well for everything you're doing in your organization at that at that time. Sims turns it over. Chicago has it down to 28, four or five more years at least contractually. How about Had the, Tommy Shepard yesterday? Feels like great dude. Feels like the acquisitions they've been able to make are going to make Bradley Beal a better player this coming season. Montero with the layup on the right th now would give me a lot of hope for a Magic organization that badly, badly needs it. They already called it the best summer league game ever <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> uh, make sure to check out his work on ESPN.com. Jonesy, back to you. Yeah, Nick does a fantastic job. Every single day covering the league and the locals. You could have a conversation as Golden State. But would they mortgage right. their future? Well, you know what? At the end of this quarter, maybe when we come back, we can talk about that. Uh, I'll pay off my bet. That I, wasn't the bet, I Seth. agree. I agree, Jonesy. <laughs> You're taking up for Tim. <laughs> I mean, he got up shots. He's just got to make a couple. Yeah, here's uh, the deal. You know. Won 15 games. Won 15 and 50. And then two years later, they're holding a championship parade. A month hand and under two minutes to go here. The Knicks have handed it to the Bulls. There's no other way to put it. Tough drive. Slick finish there. And the bucket by Elm. <laughs> yeah, play on. Play on. We've sat in a gym where all of a sudden the guy that was running the clock go, what a great job that they did with that team in the Pac-12 tournament. Right. And then obviously the NCAA tournament. Seth, you and I are the same demographic, man. I, I remember Dad, Stevie. Oh, man. He had some bounces here, too.